Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can apply a screen protector for your GoPro. In this case, I'm going to use a GoPro Hero 9 Black. So the screen protector is gonna be especially useful for you if you're going to use your GoPro without any sort of um, protection, such as a protective housing or uh, maybe a silicone sleeve. So whenever you're going to use your bare GoPro naked without any sort of protection, I think the screen protection is the, the minimum that you can get for your camera. So in fact it doesn't matter what kind of a screen protector you get for yourself because there are plenty of it on the internet. Bear in mind that if you take the cheapest one it probably uh, can affect your uh, touchscreen functionality. In this case I took mine for around $10. So let's take a look what we have inside. Alright guys, so this is what we have in the package and these are the screen protectors. So that's gonna be for the lens, for the front and the back LCD screen as well. We also have a microfiber uh, to clean off all the debris and uh, dust particles, as well as a pair of wet wipes just to get rid of uh, all the fingerprints and uh, smudges on your screen. Okay, without further ado, let me show you how to do it.
Right guys, and now let's check how sensitive is the touch screen when I'm going to navigate through the menu. I invested in a slightly more expensive protective glass. It cost me around, uh, I think, $10, maybe $12 at most. And as you guys could notice right now, it doesn't interfere with my screen sensitivity. So I could navigate uh, through the camera, uh, select various options. So I have not only that extra bit of protection, just that extra bit of peace of mind, but also I can select my options as if before. I don't feel like uh, it feels uh, that uh, it's not as responsive. I think um, if you invest in a slightly more expensive protective glass, you don't take the cheapest one that you can find of Amazon, uh, then I think you're gonna be good to go. So there you have it guys, we are done. And this is how it looks like on the back LCD screen, the front LCD screen and the lens itself. It wasn't necessary for me to apply it on the lens because on the Hero 9 Black, uh, this protective lens is uh, replaceable. Um, so you can do it yourself. It costs only around 20 bucks. If you have a Hero 8 Black, uh, then this step gonna be crucial because on the Hero 8 Black, um, the lens is not replaceable. If you scratch it, you will have to send it back to GoPro. All right, guys, so for today's that we're gonna be, that's it. As I said, the um, protected glass gonna be the bare minimum that you can get uh, for your camera just to protect it. If you want to have a better protection, then definitely go for uh, protective housing or at least sleeve plus lanyard from GoPro. Also, if you are using your sleeve plus lanyard a lot, I think that uh, having a tempered glass is a must because the only places that are exposed are the back LCD and the front LCD, as well as a lens. So as I said, for today, that's gonna be that's it. If you like this content, then give me a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you don't miss future content and see you in the next one. Bye.